नमस्ते वेलकम अगेन टू अवर चैनल वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एप्टेटिव टेस्ट फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन दिस इज अवर फिफ्थ एम सी क्यू दैट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फ्रॉम द एग्जाम विच रीड्स वॉट आर द चार्जेस स्टॉर्ड इन द टू माइक्रोफायरेड एंड फोर माइक्रोफायरेड कपैसिटर्स इन द गिवन सर्किट अ लॉन्ग टाइम आफ्टर द की के इज क्लोज सो द कपैसिटर्स कैन बी फाउंड हियर टू माइक्रोफायरेड एंड फोर माइक्रोफायरेड we have a battery 12 volts key and uh, here they have just mentioned k so let us assume that the resistors are of uh, resistance kilo ohms okay so 4 kilo ohm 2 kilo ohm 2 kilo ohm and 4 kilo ohm. okay so let me just add that here okay now uh, first thing is that they have said what will be the charges stored uh, after a long time so after a long time means what okay after a long time means the capacitors have been charged to their full capacity okay which basically means that the capacitance branch in the circuit is going to act as an open circuit okay it is going to act as an open circuit initially when the charges on the capacitor plates were zero then there will be charges flowing so there will be some current coming from that particular pink box but once they get fully charged then there will not be any current in that okay so open circuit that part will act as an open circuit number 2 the second point is uh, these capacitors are connected in series okay the capacitors are connected in series now i'll tell you two uh, things here you you can remember it in this way seri q and par v uh, these are the things that we will find then um, in halliday resnick i think okay they they say seri q and par v just to help you remember uh, in which combination what is the same so if if you connect the capacitors in series then the charge is same and if you connect the capacitors in parallel then the potential difference between the plates of every capacitor is the same you probably know it already but you can remember it in this way par v uh, rhymes with par t so you can so <laughs> remember it that way okay but anyways you already know that okay that the if the capacitors are connected in series then the charge on uh, every capacitor will be uh, the charge stored will be the same seri q now what is the significance of that we can directly rule out options c and d because of that if the charges are same on well on capacitors connected in series c and d cannot be right because here the charges are different 16 by 3 8 by 3 16 by 3 8 by 3 so it is either a or b had b or a one of them been uh, different and equal then we would have directly got the answer without solving the problem okay but here we have to solve it acha so uh, after a long time because this branch is going to act as an open circuit okay let us find the current flowing through this okay how will we find it current is equal to okay uh, v upon r ohms law 12 v upon what is the net resistance everything will now be in series so it will be 12 4 plus 2 6 6 into 2 12 12 so 12 into 10 raised to 3 ohms so the current will be 1 upon 10 to the power 3 ampere or 1 milliampere now we would uh, so we are interested in now determining the potential difference across the two ends of this uh, particular branch of the circuit so let us call them p and q and let us apply a loop rule okay let us apply the loop rule between p and q so we'll get vp minus vq as 12 volts minus uh now here we should uh, take the net resistance on this side so it will be 6 Uh, six into ten raised to three rather into the current. So this is ohm into one upon ten to the power three ampere. So this is now uh, I R. So that will again be in volts. And what will this be? Ten raised to three. Ten raised to three will get cancelled. So it will be six volts. So the potential difference between the plates, uh, sorry, between the ends P and Q will be six volts. Now let us focus on that uh, that part of the circuit. let's focus on that part of the circuit okay vpq is that it is 6 volts okay now because the uh, capacitors are in series the charges will be same but the potential differences or drops will get added 
So we have 6 volt equal to V1 plus V2, where V1 is for 2 microfarad and V2 is the potential difference between the plates of this capacitance C2, okay, uh, 4 microfarad. And we also know this formula. What is it? C is equal to Q by V. Okay. So V will be Q by C. Right. V will be equal to Q by C. So V1 will be Q by C1. And V2 will be Q by C2. Now th there is a possibility of confusion in any capacitance problem. And the reason is C is the symbol that we use for denoting a capacitor, capacitor or a capacitance and C is also the SI unit, the symbol for charge, charge is SI unit, so don't get confused, okay, fine. So uh, 6 is equal to Q upon, what is C1? Mm, now C1 is the capacitance, the first capacitor, that's 2 microfarad, okay, that is 2 microfarad. And this is Mm. Or C2, 4 microfarad. Next, therefore, uh, 6 is equal to Q into bracket, or we can take 10 raised to 6 right here. In the bracket, we'll have 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 4. What will that be? 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 4? 3 by 4? Yes. So Q will be equal to. 6 into 10 raised to negative 6 into 4 by 3, 6 by 3, 2, 2 into 4, 8. So 8 micro coulomb will be the charge on net charge on, well not net charge, charge stored in that capacitor. 8 micro coulomb, so that is option A. That is option A. Okay, so I th thought it was a lengthy problem because we have to find the current first, we have to apply the loop rule. And then finally, we had to bring in the series combination formula. But otherwise, it was a straightforward problem, I would say. Straightforward problem. 8 microcoulomb is the answer. 